cuties. Sorry if the lighting is off, but um, my second to last day leaving in Paris, and I have actually been kind of like lagging it to leave the apartment. There were so many things I wanted to do today, but I just find myself like <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Um, like really sad of just ending this chapter in my life because it's been such an interesting chapter <laughs> and I'm going to miss this place so much um, and actually another reason why I, I'm leaving a little later as well is because um, one of the real estate agents he's going to come and show the apartment later and that just also like put into perspective like this place will no longer be here anymore. The the person that I rented from is trying to sell it. Um, they have a home I believe in Florence and they own this apartment because they they were um, they are an opera singer or they were and um, she was doing opera here. But I don't think she spends that much time in Paris anymore. So I think she is going to sell this beautiful place. <laughs> like, even if I would want to come back and rent this place again, like, I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't be able to because it's going to be sold. It makes it just a little bit harder, like, knowing that fact that, like, was the last time I'll be able to be in this space and how much it truly, like, it's lifted me and changed me <laughs> and wow learned so much from this experience and I think that's why I kind of like procrastinated going to do anything because I kind of just wanted to stay in the space here for a little longer so yeah I think I'm just gonna try to do some things around Paris I have no idea and then I'm gonna go with the flow I wanted to go to Crete I went um, like one of the first weeks I got here and I got the hot chocolate it was so good and I was thinking of going early today but like I said I kept pushing it and now it's like one o'clock and I'm still at the apartment <laughs> and the real estate agent's gonna pass by like at six so I'm not well right now I'm like holding back my emotions but um tomorrow I'm gonna start packing for sure and kind of close the door on this chapter and then open it to a new one which is another cycle I feel like I truly should have stayed in Paris like the whole two months and a half and then maybe from here do trips to the places that I wanted to go see um, because I feel like I'm not able to acclimate or I started to get acclimated and then it's done and then I'm gonna start somewhere else and I kind of um, regret that and and I can't like change it because I have already like pre-booked things so even if I would want to like maybe find another place to stay longer and move my flights and everything I, I really can't I already um, I already started to rent another space the day I leave on Thursday, so. So I think I am going to go to Corette, even though it's later, I don't care. I'm still going to get a hot chocolate even in this heat. And then after, I think I'm going to be close to the Eiffel Tower, so I think I'll sit down maybe in the grass and relax and basically reminisce about this whole experience. Then, I don't know after that, but I think in the afternoon, later, I'll go to the sun and just, like, also feel the feels. We're feeling the feels today. But, yeah, I don't know what else to do. I feel like I've done everything that I've wanted to see here. Um, the only thing I didn't get to do was the Monet Gardens, but me and Luigi said we'll do that together next time. Um, but, yeah, let's get going. Already running late. Let's see where the day takes us, because I seriously have no idea. <laughs> where, where, where?
L'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée D'avancer solo, de poser sous quelques mots Accompagner d'un petit mmh. Rouler avec son par un certain dit un certain homme de ma vie Mais que s'est-il passé Pourquoi je me retrouve coincé Dans un 35 mètres carrés à Paris Ben oui, vous aussi Moi j'étais bien à Moustier C'est là que tout a commencé tu ne connais pas ce blesse, c'est normal, tu sais, faut être un peu loin dans sa tête pour y habiter. Ouais, 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 ouais. Walking, I think, towards like a park by the Eiffel Tower. Um, we can actually like play and read a book or something. I don't want to even journal, and I think it'd be nice and therapeutic to journal in front of the Eiffel Tower since my experience here is ending. Um, but yeah, I'm currently on my way there. Hopefully, I'm not lost and I'm just taking in the fresh air. Enjoy all this walking. I would want the sun and 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 the sun right now in the kitchen and even in the bedroom but it's gonna be five o'clock soon and I just kind of been <laughs> getting distracted and pushing my packing I got back in the room like around three something and I decided to make dinner so I finally ate finished eating and I think it's now time for me to pack and I'm just like like I'm avoiding it but I just want to get it out of the way and yeah it's time to pack y'all and I'm so sad <sighs> I'm so sad y'all but um I can't I need to get in the mood and get going and because I do want to make happy hour and happy hours are right now at five and till eight o'clock so Oh, and I also went to the French pharmacy to get stuff for for my, you know, like skincare stuff. Basically, TikTok made me buy. And I'm really excited to take it back home. I'm really excited about this, by the way. And it's also right now, Solada, Solads just started, which is like, I think twice out of the year in France. Um, they have like a big sale because they don't really do sales here as my assumption and so during this time they have like huge sales all over i think the whole country so yeah so i happen to get like a lot of this stuff discounted for example this like oil that everyone talks about I'm like now i'm just going to show you i got this like lip one i've 
heard so much good about that. It's same brand. It's like a lip care, but it's in honey. I got this uh, Le Pichet, which they do sell this back in the States, but it's way more expensive. I think it's like double the price because here this was like 11 euro. And I think in the States, they're like $20 or so. So I got this one because I don't know why I always at Target sold out for me. But this is really good, I heard. And great for like my eczema stuff. And this is like one of the best retinols. Um, I had to ask over the counter for this. But I heard it's really good and really affordable. It's like 6 euro. And this is great for like burns and all this stuff. And just great overall and especially my next place i'd be in the sun a lot so i thought this would be perfect so yeah kind of the basics i guess not that much and then these these thermal water sprays are so good and i just got a little sample but yeah a little more stuff that i'm taking back with me let's get to uh packing this is so sad Look at my little Remy hat. This is the only thing I got at Disneyland Paris. And I'm taking it back. But I, they had a Tigger one too like this. But I had to get Remy because you wouldn't find this back in the States in Disneyland. So it's the only thing I got as a souvenir. I think I'm going to have to leave the blazer out because the blazer is one of the things I'm going to... It's heavy. So I'm going to have to take it last. So I'm just going to blazer it I do feel like I brought a lot of clothes now, but I feel like I wore everything already, but I still think there's a lot of clothes. There's stuff, there's some stuff I didn't wear, like I didn't wear a lot of these dresses, like the, like the lingerie dress or, or this cherry dress. But, okay, got all my clothes out from here. I just left the blazer because I'm going to use that tomorrow and I'll put my outfit for tomorrow night. can tell I have a mess and I still have all these clothes right here in that drawer and bathing suits and I gotta go get my luggage bag which I have on this side I think tonight I'm gonna have a good cry. <sighs> this is so hard. I'm feeling like very anxious. So easier to unpack than to pack. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I think I need to take a break. I think I um, I need to process this right now. I'll be back. I, I need some time.
my home, the 18th Arrasmont Monomart, the beginning to my journey, and the connection I made with this Arrasmont is something I will cherish forever. Paris has given me the space to feel more like myself, and I'm sad to leave it behind, but as I once heard, to grieve deeply means to have love fully. This isn't a goodbye, but I will see you soon, Paris. With much love, Karina.